Hi everybody, I'm Kelsey and today we are going to learn how to make this super cute little hair bow for your girlies. It's really easy, this is a three inch bow and you are going to love all of the options you can do with it. Let's go. Okay, so what you will need for this bow is some ribbon. I'm using inch and a half width ribbon um, a smaller ribbon, this is quarter inch ribbon for the accent in the middle, a glue gun, a hair bow clip, and this is optional but it helps keep the bows in the hair a lot better. This is a piece of shelf liner, non-stick shelf liner, a needle, upholstery thread that is extra thick, scissors, and a lighter. So what I like to do with my bows is I will take the width of the ribbon that I'm using and double it. And that is the size bow that I'm going to make. So where this is an inch and a half, I'm going to make a three inch bow. Now you need seven inches of ribbon for a three inch bow because you're going to fold it over and kind of behind itself. So you're gonna do whatever size bow you want, you're gonna double it and add an inch. So you could do that with a four inch bow. You would just need four inches, four inches, and one inch. Or a two inch bow would be two inches, two inches, one inch. Whatever size bow you wanna do, that is how I measure it. So I'm going to cut mine three, six, seven. And then I'm going to use my lighter and just kind of melt the ends so that it doesn't fray. And you don't have to do very much, but just enough that that ribbon won't fray. Now you have your seven inch piece of ribbon. So what you're going to do next is push that aside. We're gonna take this little accent ribbon for the middle of our bow. And this one, I just kind of eyeball. I usually will cut off a fairly large chunk because I'm going to use it for the middle of the bow but I'm also going to use it on the clips and kind of wrap it around the clips so that there's something for the hot glue to stick to easier when we attach the clip to the bow and then also just to make it look a little bit cuter. So just cut a chunk of that ribbon, push them aside and get your upholstery um, thread. This is the one I use and it is a little bit thicker. So you can tell right there it's a little thicker, a little stronger. You're going to get some. It doesn't really matter how much. And cut it off. So I've got about that much. And you're going to take your needle and thread the th thread through it. And then I like to double it up so it's just even that much stronger. And then I don't lose my needle. And tie the ends in a knot. Trim off that excess. And then I also like to just melt the end of that just a little bit so that that doesn't fray and it kind of helps it not come apart. So you're going to take your first main ribbon, turn it over, and you're gonna fold in to about the two inch mark. So you'll fold in about two inches on this side, fold in about two inches on that side, so that you have a three inch rectangle with overlap here in the middle. You wanna make sure that those ends are overlapped. Then you're gonna take your needle, you're gonna go right about in the middle, as close to the middle as you can get, right at the edge and stick your needle through. Do not stick it through all the way. Don't pull your needle and thread all the way through. You just want it about like that. And then you are going to take it and you're gonna go up and back in and then up through the very tip or the very edge of that part of the ribbon. So it should look something like this. Now you will pull your needle through and the thread and it should be about like that. Then all you're going to do is pull on the thread to tighten that up. 
And this is the basis, the basic shape of your bow. So now that you have that tight, what you're going to do is you're just going to take your ribbon or your, uh, you're going to take your thread and wrap it around a few times to hold that in place the way you want it. Then I just tie off the thread, make a little knot, and then you are just going to trim that. And here again, let's trim that a little smaller. I like to just melt the end of that just a little bit so it doesn't come undone. And now you have your basic bow ready to go. Now what we're going to do is take one of our clips and we're going to take our accent ribbon and I'm just going to melt the end of that again. We're gonna take the hot glue gun and we're just going to wrap the ribbon around this clip. So I like to just put a little bit here and then I take it and I just stick it right on like that to get it in place. Then I'm going to put glue here, here, on the insides here, here, and here on the outside and wrap it around. So just a little dab there, a little dab there, and a little dab there. And we're just going to carefully push that ribbon so that it goes into that clip. Now you have this tail piece. And what I'm going to do is I like to take, open up the um, clip like this Take the ribbon and I'll put some glue here and then I will fold it over and trim it. So I kind of just eyeball about where I will need to trim. And then we're going to melt that just a little bit. And then I'm just going to take some glue right along there and fold this piece over, push it down and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna be up against the bow, but this is about what it will look like, something like that. So you've got the ribbon there on the inside and on the outside. Now you're going to take your leftover bit of ribbon that you have, and we are going to wrap it around like that. So you have the little accent. So I just take my glue gun, I put a little dab of glue, and then I stick that part on where I want it. And I let that dry a little bit so that it stays nice and still, right in place. Then I turn this over and I'm gonna take my clip and I'm going to glue it right there. And I'm just going to take a little bit of glue right here on the clip out like that and stick it to the back of my bow leaving these little tails we will put those on in a minute so once you get that step this is where you should be this is what it should look like we are going to pull this piece over and glue it down right inside there and trim it and then we're going to do the same thing with this piece to hook it in it helps keep the clip in place it helps keep everything kind of where it needs to be so we're just going to take a little dab of glue and pull over the first side let that dry and then I will just trim off the little bit there so you have that little bit of tail which you don't really need to worry about because we're going to cover it up with this one we're going to do the same thing with this piece. We're just, I like to put a little bit of glue on that frayed edge just so that it stays from, keeps it from fraying more. We're going to take our other piece of ribbon and pull it over and push it down. Same thing. Then we're going to trim 
this and I like to trim this as close to the clip as I can get and then melt it down so that it doesn't fray since we don't have the glue on that side. And then here is your completed bow if you want to stop here. Um, I like to add these little grippies. It's just shelf liner, um, grippy shelf or drawer liner. And I just cut, it's like two by six little dots. And I just take this and this just helps it stay in the hair a little bit better. So I just put a little bit of glue on the clip and then I stick the grippies on there, close it and that will help kind of pinch it down. And then you just let it dry. And there you go. You have a super cute little bow that is great for any occasion. And you can do this with any kind of ribbon or size of ribbon or whatever you want to do combination wise. That's how you make that cute bow. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to see more things like that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Leave comments if you want to learn how to make something specific and I'll see you next time.